Achilles Achilles is a Greek mythological and literary hero who starred in the Trojan War. Achilles, the godlike leader of the terrifying Myrmidons, sacker of cities and slayer of Hector, was simply unbeatable in battle. Only Apollo's divine intervention brought a stop to his reign as the greatest Greek warrior of all time. Achilles was the bravest, strongest, and even best-looking hero of the all-star Greek army that marched to Troy to recapture Helen, but he was also a little too pompous and bad-tempered for his own good, and his rash fury would cost both his countrymen and the enemy dearly. Achilles was born to Peleus and Thetis the Nereid, according to Greek mythology. His mother held him over a heavenly fire or, according to some legends, the river Styx, in order to make her son eternal and his body invulnerable. However, because the newborn was hanging by his heel, this part of his body remained mortal flesh, eventually leading to Achilles' demise. Knowing that her son was destined for a brilliant but brief life, Thetis sought to hide Achilles from the public, and he was nurtured on Skyros with the royal family of Lycomedes, even posing as a girl in some tales. Some tales attribute Hercules' education to Chiron, the wise centaur who had Hercules among his students. Homer's account of the Trojan War in the Iliad is by far the most comprehensive source of information about Achilles' exploits. Indeed, one may argue that Achilles is the main character, and Homer himself describes his epic as an account of Achilles' fury. Early in the book, Odysseus, the cunning ruler of Ithaca, is dispatched on a quest to find Achilles and persuade him to join the Greek Trojan War. The embassy was successful and Achilles, leaving his son Neoptolemus behind, embarked for Troy. Odysseus was a formidable negotiator and with Achilles' drive for glory, the embassy was successful. With him came 50 fast ships, each carrying 50 warriors from his personal army, the Myrmidons, formidable fighters that Zeus himself had turned from ants and handed to his son Aiaikos, king of Aegina and father of Peleus. The ten Achaean siege of Troy was won by Achilles, who excelled in warfare and ravaged no less than 23 cities in the surrounding area. The hero also attacked the Trojan prince Troilus as he drank from a spring early in the fight and sacrificed him in honor of Apollo. This was fortunate for the Greeks because an oracle had predicted that if the prince was killed before turning 20, Troy would fall. According to some legends, Troilos was murdered in an Apollo sanctuary, which could explain the archer god's tragic hatred towards Achilles. Things were looking well for the Greeks at this point, but things took a turn for the worst when Agamemnon, king of Mycenae and commander of the Greek forces, had a falling out with Achilles, his greatest warrior, and Achilles withdrew from the conflict. The feud began after Achilles stole two beautiful women, Briseis and Chryses, during one of his expeditions. He kept Agamemnon's Chryses and kept the former for himself. Chryses' father Chryses, on the other hand, offered a tempting ransom in exchange for the girl's safe return. Agamemnon declined, and Apollo was unhappy, maybe because the girl had been a priestess of Apollo, and sent a plague to wreak havoc on the Achaean camp. Agamemnon eventually gave up his treasure, but not before snatching Briseis from Achilles to soothe himself. Achilles and his Myrmidons were enraged by this ruse and said he had been disgraced in front of all of their comrades, so they stormed back to their camp and sat out the rest of the conflict. The Achaean army's fortunes sank without its talismanic warrior, and the Trojans took advantage of Achilles' absence, attacking perilously close to the Achaean camp's fortifications and even starting a fire among the Greek ships. Even Achilles' great friend Patroclus, Patroclos, pleaded with the hero to re-enter the fray or at the very least allow him to lead out the Myrmidons in battle, but Agamemnon offered fabulous gifts and the return of Briseis to no avail, and in this hour of great danger, even Achilles' great friend Patroclus, Patroclos, pleaded with the hero to re-enter the fray or at Achilles consented to the latter, and before handing over his armor to Patroclus, he made him vow that he would only engage in defensive combat and not chase the Trojans back to Troy. The Trojans panicked when they saw the armored Patroclus, thinking Achilles had re-entered the fray. 
Patroclus, flushed with victory, disobeyed his leader's orders and pursued the fleeing Trojans, slaying the Lycian Sarpedon, a son of Zeus, on his way to Troy's walls. Unfortunately for the youthful warrior, Apollo, the Trojans' guardian, decided to intervene at that precise moment, removing his helmet and armor and directing Euphorbo's spear to strike him in the back. The blow only injured Patroclus but Hector, the Trojan prince, was nearby to inflict the deadly blow. The Achaeans, headed by Menelaos and Ajax, eventually managed to take the slain Patroclus back to their camp after a long skirmish over ownership of the body. When Achilles learned of the tragedy, he was enraged. Now he would fight and exact horrible revenge for his friend's death. He quickly requested new armor from his mother Thetis, who enlisted Hephaestos, the god of metallurgy, to build the most gorgeous armor ever made for the hero. The gleaming shield featured all kinds of scenes in gold, silver, and enamel, the greaves were of shining tin, and the helmet had a gilded crest, according to Homer.